During the Second World War, the Imperial Japanese military had been spending resources experimenting with unique and questionable weapon designs in order to give them the edge in the war. The Fugo Balloon Bomb Project was an effort to launch specially designed hydrogen balloons which would carry a high explosive or incendiary bomb. These balloons would be released off the coast of Japan to take advantage of the natural winter jet streams above Japan in order to reach the United States over the Pacific Ocean at which point a specially timed detonator would cause the balloon to drop its explosive payload causing massive damage and forest fires. The original design consists of a rubberized silk balloon over 9 meters in diameter, with later designs over 10 meters being made of washi paper. Carrying an 11 to 33 pound bomb on an aluminum spoked wheel that had a system on board to over time cut a number of sandbags attached to the balloon to shift its weight periodically for its flight with the hydrogen being monitored and vented based on its height. After the controls ran for three days, it should be considered above its target, after which the balloon would release the bombs once a timed fuse had destroyed the balloon. At the onset of the plan, a number of balloon designs had been experimented with and produced. Originally, the project was to include chemical and biological warfare agents in the balloons to cause widespread disease and disorder in the United States. But at the order of the emperor himself, the chemical and biological aspects were cut. The first productions of the balloons were known as Type B and contained no explosives and only contained weather measuring equipment so that accurate measurements of the weather conditions and their possibility of reaching the states could be determined. Tests would be conducted from three specialized units in September 1944 as balloons would be manufactured. The first launch of the balloon program was conducted on November 3, 1944. It would take a considerable team and some 30 minutes to launch. It was found that after three days of travel over the Pacific, the balloons would reach central United States. During the war, the US government had little knowledge of the balloons, but as reports of them kept showing up, the government was quick to catch on as more balloons would appear deflated in the ocean, washed up on shores, trailing over cities, and be detected by patrolling aircraft. Due to the frightening nature and psychological potential of the balloon bombs, the government ordered all balloon reports to be covered up. That was until a balloon landed in southern Oregon, killing a group of children and a pregnant woman, the only successful balloon attack, after which the media blackout was lifted to avoid further deaths from the lack of public understanding of the balloon threat. The causing of forest fires from these balloons had been so considerable that a parachute infantry battalion had been stationed along critical points in the response of forest fires that would be caused from the balloons. Over 9,300 balloons would be manufactured over the course of the program, but the effectiveness of the balloons would be seriously questioned as the resources used to manufacture them were beginning to weigh heavily. The original estimate was for some 900 balloons to reach the US, with reports of only roughly 300 having made it and being reported. The last balloon was launched in April 1945, with the manufacturing facility being discovered from an intact balloon being dismantled and the sand contents of the bag being examined for the locational origin of the sand, which had been pinpointed as sand from Ichinomiya. Promptly after the discovery of the bases, the Air Force had bombed their targets with B-29 bombers, thus further halting the balloon production. Due to the media blackouts by the US, the Japanese had no idea of the effectiveness of the balloons. With their lack of success being reported outside massive propaganda, the project was cancelled in April 1945. Though remnants of these balloon bombs may not have been discovered entirely, as recently as 2014 in British Columbia, Canada, a hunter had discovered an intact balloon in the forests near Lumby, which had been still fully functional and intact. A Navy EOD team had been called out to dispose of the bombs.